Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new weekly series that I'm going to do on this channel. So what it is, it's Friday today. Every Friday, we're going to either try out a game, a new game, or do a series that's sort of like off brand for me. So my main series on this channel is normally Timberborn, but on Fridays, we're going to try something out. And if it goes good, we might continue it, but it'll be every Friday. And I hope we have fun with this. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited and let's get into it. So our first one, our first game we're going to look at is Stranded Dawn or Stranded Alien Dawn, sorry. And apparently this game is like RimWorld. If you haven't played RimWorld, it's a really cool um, colony based game, base building game. And it can be very brutal at times. Now, this is more of a 3D version where RimWorld is more of an isometric, like looking down 2D um, version. And it's a very old game, but it's, a, it's an amazing game. You should definitely try it out. Now, I haven't gone into this at all. So this is going to be first time checking this out. I haven't done any tutorials, but let's just get into it. We recommend new players to complete the game basic tutorials. Huh. <laughs> Uh, before anything, as this introduces everything that you need to get started. Okay, remember this game now is in early access. It's in Steam if you want to go and get it. Check the description down below. I have a link to it. Now, you know what? I'm going to quickly do the tutorials and I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back. Now, I did just the first tutorial, which is about surviving and a little bit of basics. There was no combat or anything because I think in this first episode, we will just be mainly focusing on getting up and running and I can do the rest of the tutorials later on. It seemed quite good. <laughs> it seemed pretty good. So scenarios, we've only got one scenario at the moment. This is in early access. So there may be more when it comes out at 1.0 version. I'm not sure. I've not really heard anything about it, but while I'm route to the outer worlds, the passenger ship Alien Dawn suffers a catastrophic hyperdrive malfunction and starts breaking apart in orbit of an unknown planet. Now I feel like does that, does that need a full stop somewhere? <laughs> I nearly ran out of breath. Up to four passengers reach one of the emergency landing pods. This is the story of their survival. And look at these monsters. That looks pretty crazy. Their mission, find a way back to civilization. Okay, so region. Okay, so this is a new one. They did do an update early, uh, recently, which added a new area. So hot desert are dominated by dry dunes or dominated by dunes, oases and dry riverbeds. I think I'll be going on that because, you know, this is the first time we don't want to go crazy, do we? So we're going on Sorbrius, which is temperate mountainous area with large meadows, fun times, moons. Oh, there's different moons. I wonder what that does. Okay, Jason, tough challenges, but provide time to prepare for them. Oh, okay. So if you've played RimWorld before, you'd know this. This is mostly like the storyteller you, you pick where you pick like um, Cassandra or whoever the other ones are, I completely forgot right now. So these provide different challenges. Jason sends tough challenges, but provides time to prepare for them. Nyx is the goddess of night and governs everything that lurks in the dark. Be it a thought, an action or daemons, a daemon. Hmm. At the beginning, there was chaos. Everything appeared out of the chaos and will return to chaos. So I'm guessing that's like a lot of random stuff. Balance, holding and letting go. I think we'll go with this one for now. <laughs> We're going to try it out. Um, what are the difficulties? For players who want to have a relaxing experience, starting stuff is quite good. For players who are not very familiar with the survival management genre, uh, I don't think I will go with hard. Very insane. Okay, that looks interesting. We'll go with medium for now. Uh, that's the seed. Can we randomize it? We'll, we'll leave it as that. If everyone, anyone else wants to play along, that's the one. Uh, disable aggressive animal attacks. No, we're gonna not going to do any game rules at the moment. We're going to leave most of it at default. I think everything is default, to be fair. Right, so here we've got all our colonists. Oh, wow. So we've got to start with four colonists and we're going to need to look at stats, all right? Uh, you see their relationship, their traits and all that jazz. Okay, so I'm guessing if, so say this lady here, um, what is her name? Vanessa has a relationship wife with Grayson. So where is Grayson? So Grayson is not here, but he's there. So I'm guessing things like if 
Grayson dies or she dies, they get a massive mood debuff or something like that. So you've got to look out for these kind of relationships, how everything interwines and works together. And they are quite old. They're, well, I say old, I'm mostly older than some of these, but 46 years old. I don't know when they die of old age. Uh, do we, there's people at 50 because we do want them to last a fair amount of time, 70. Okay, so 62, okay, so they can get higher. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna find four people that I like and we're gonna go on from there. Okay, so I found the people that I want in my team. Um, so most of them are the same actually, it's just I've changed this lady. So we've got our cook. She is an exquisite cook, so it makes even the simplest dishes taste exquisite, which is amazing. Uh, cheerful personality is always, uh, has permanently increased happiness, which is great. Now I changed this one. She's, this lady is incapable of doing anything intellectual, which um, is a bit funny, but okay. Cause even the basic tasks are intellectual, right? But they cannot do any sort of research or observation tasks, which is fine. What I got her for is her combat is six, which is massively high and she cannot experience meltdowns or euphoria. So she's going to be our hunter. Then we've got our researcher. It's healthy, is thrombophobia or thrombophilia and a fast walker. So he's very healthy, can doesn't bleed so much and he can move fast, but he's got a decently high intellect and he's interested in crafting. So that will mostly increase a lot faster when he's doing it. And then we've got our healer who uh, cannot fail medical treatments, which is great. Makes others happy when playing music, recovers health twice as slow. So we don't want her getting hurt. And um, she's got high in healing. So that's our four, and we are gonna start this crazy, crazy event. All right, so that's our ship, our spaceship crash landing into this alien world. And we are now on our first days of survival. So I've I've um, I've paused it because we've got a few things going wrong here. <laughs> As you can imagine, people have just crash landed. We've got Simon here crying. Um, I don't know what that actually does. Does it tell me? No. It might just reduce his happiness. So we need to keep an eye on that. Oh, here we go. It doesn't say. So we've got troubles. Crash shock, minus 50 to happiness, and he's in a little bit of pain. Survivor determination and all that. And I'm guessing all of them are... Oh, actually, he's the only one in crash shock. Okay, so everyone else seems pretty okay. And everyone's having a bit of fun. Okay, so first thing we need to do Let's take a look. It's pretty chilly outdoors, to be fair. We've got all this area to work with. We've got a lot of wood. We've got these bad boys. I have no idea what they are. We've got this thing, spaceship debris. And yeah, we've got some mountain area. So this is a decent place to build a base. What the hell is that? <laughs> I have not seen one of them before. We can hunt them, raw insect meat. That is going to taste absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I am not interested in alien meat. Anyways, let's start the scavenger process. Let's keep it on slow. Oh, we've got more things crashing down. I don't want to scavenge that just yet. So we'll leave. Okay. Okay. There's things crashing everywhere. Hopefully none of them get hit. They're fleeing. Okay, that's fine. I understand. I understand. Let's get some trees cut down. Um, he's doing his own thing. Oh, what is that noise? Vanessa, I need you to do some work, if you don't mind. Um, maybe you don't want to do anything? Idle. Can you observe something then? Because we do, okay, she's observing. Because we do need to observe stuff and it helps us use it. We get more sort of um, ways to plant it, use it and all that jazz. All right, then we're going to need some shelter. So let's pause it. Let's get camp going. Let's get shelter. We'll do it out of scrap metal. 
I'll actually put another one because I want to make a stockpile as well. All right, so we're going to need four beds. How much scrap metal have I got? I've got 80 scrap metal. That's fine. Get in help. Okay, we can go to the help screen. Fine, I think, I think I'm okay to survive for now. So, sleeping spots. What do we need for that? We actually don't need any resources for this, which is fine, which is absolutely great. Uh, let's get four of these down. And we also need a campfire, which we're going to need some sticks. Let's get some storage down here. Oops, did that wrong. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, I'll leave that there for now. All right, so we've got that, we've got that. We need some sticks. How do I get sticks? I don't remember how I got it in the tutorial. <laughs> I don't remember, but that's fine. Can you guys move a little bit faster? If you don't mind. Maybe we get sticks. Oh, there's, is there some sticks here? That is wood. Okay, he's going to cut that. I wonder if I can cut wood into sticks. We're going to put some more storage here. So I want to fill this out with storage. I don't know what's actually blocking it there. Oh, maybe they need a way to get into that. Okay, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. So she's observing that. Oh, we need a bush. That's where we get sticks from. Let's cut that. Let's cut that. Scavenge a laser pike. A melee weapon. A melee weapon. Okay. Use energy blade to slash through flesh. Okay, so our combat dude, which I believe is this guy, how do I see? No, he's our intellect. She's our combat lady. Is going to have the melee weapon. And you're going to have that equipped. Just in case, I want to send you hunting. Now, have we got stick yet? No, but she's going to do it. All right, let's speed up a little bit. And let's get some crafting done. So we need production or research. Let's get research. Let's get scrap metal research going. Can put that there. Okay, let's slow it down a bit because I don't want it going too fast. Whoa, I thought that said Vanessa is dying. Okay, <laughs> that scared me. Okay, so we've got our, our campfire right here. Lovely. We are also going to need a workbench. And then we want to start observing some stuff so we can start using it a little bit better. Uh, let's observe some bushes. Let's just get some things observed. observed, And let's get all this done. And while they're doing that, we will look at um, some research. So we've got basic construction. We've got some tailoring. We've got weaponsmith lighting rods. Uh, unpredictable, but easy to catch. Okay, so we don't want that. We don't want to get hit by lightning. Um, metal refinement might be interesting, but I think weapon smithing will be the first thing. Yeah. And then we might need some sort of construction. This one's taking his time at scavenging, isn't he? Three out of ten. Okay. What is our food like? That's medicine. Our food, cooked meals, we've got 58 cooked meals. So we're going to have to think about getting that ready. So production, a cooking stove. I need more sticks. So let's cut. Um, we should most probably cut these ones here a lot closer. But let's observe that. Did I? Yes. So once you observe it, you get a new discovery. And now look what this has unlocked. We can harvest the buttermelon and we can plant buttermelon buttermelons so we can actually make a little farm now. 
and I guess the red one is when it's ripe. Yep, and that is when it's grown, well, growing. Okay, so if we look fully grown, buttermelon, 40. Failed chance at farming, zero. 30%, no failure at three. Okay, so if you have farming at three, you don't get a failure. So if we look, who is our cook? This lady here. Her farming is free, so she will never fail at getting them. We're going to need more storage. But let's harvest. Now, can I choose who I want to harvest it? I want her to harvest because the others, he has a, she's zero, he's zero, and she is zero. So I didn't see where priorities were. Orders? Allowed consumables, traits, inventory, happiness, health. Okay, I'm gonna let them just do what they ever, whatever they need to do for now, because I don't think I can be that picky. Now we're going into the night. I don't want her walking too far off, but they are gonna need to go sleep soon. This is still getting done. Wow. So now we've. Have we finished researching? We haven't even started researching. He's observing something, I'm guessing. Yeah, observing. He's over here. How long left? No, not that long left. So we'll let that happen because I want to be able to plant trees in that as well if we need to. He's got euphoria. What does euphoria mean? Uh, It doesn't say. Ah, here we go. Inspired by their happiness, by high happiness, the survivor will perform better for a while. 25% unconsciousness manipulation. Okay. Smoke inhalation. Inhaled a bit of too much smoke on the spaceship. Pain. Okay. Hopefully they'll get a bit of fresh air. And once we break this down, there shouldn't be too much smoke. Can we get rid of this fire? Because that's supposed to be causing a bit of smoke as well. So it'll be nice if we get can put this out all right done planting big broadleaf trees for wood so we can plant food we can plant wood we're happy happy people now they are meant to go to bed soon i don't know what actual time it is mm, is that the time most probably so let's let them get some stuff done and it is now the next day and we are carrying on with research which is weapon smithing hopefully we'll get that done soon hopefully we'll get that done soon we don't want any animals to attack us i did find a pistol didn't i um where's nova that's who we need we want her to equip the pistol i have paused it because i don't want things going too quickly we also need to make more storage because that that is not enough storage look how much resources we've got we've got a lot of resources so let's get on to storages first actually we need shelter because it's better to keep your resources under shelter they actually have um expiration especially food food is the main thing so if you look at it here it says outside under roof refrigerated frozen so if it's outside it lasts for 24 days but this is the emergency rations you don't get a lot of them even first aid kits have a shelf life. Interesting. So let's get some more storage down. Let's get stockpile going. Let's do it from there to there. Happy days and let's start that. Now I did, this is the next day for me as well in real life. So I did actually complete all the other tutorials. There is a lot to this game. There is absolutely loads to this game. It looks absolutely amazing. Ooh, what happened here? Uh, we put together a camp as quick as we could, considering the circumstances. We are not sleeping in dirt. We have a roof over our head, a fire to illuminate the dark on certain nights. And the most important, we have survived. To us, this feels like an achievement worth honoring. We can gather around a campfire and celebrate being alive at 17, um, seven o'clock, 1900 tonight. I think that's a great idea. Let's, let's have a party. You know, surviving in this world looks 
really hard. <laughs> I'm here cozy in my nice little room. They're out there foraging and being afraid of these things. What is, what is this? Literally, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we've got to remember they are going to be off work partying at 1900 hours. I think here is the time we're in spring. So that's good. We do need to worry about winter and summer. There is weather, weather um, conditions here and they can die if you're, if they're too cold and stuff like that. Right. Is he still observing? Or Vanessa is still observing, right? Because we need to start getting farms down. We need to start getting buildings down. What are you doing? You are activity queued. None. You're eating. You. None. None. Researching, observing, and scavenging. This scavenging is taking a long time, though. Nearly done. So we have actually observed these. So we can actually plant them. But I do want to get a cooking station done because we do need to start cooking. What does this workbench allow us to do? We can craft some stuff, but we don't have anything that we really want to craft yet. We want to go into production. We want to go into a cooking stove and we can bung that right there. And hopefully we can start cooking some of this up and getting a little bit better food. Have you finished observing Vanessa? Yes, you are constructing. Let's speed up a little bit because they are a little bit slow. Now this episode will be a little bit longer because this is only happening every Friday. So I thought, you know what? Let's make this around 40 minutes to an hour. Not like the 20 minute episodes I do with Timberborn. And is it, if this is the first video you've seen on my channel, I do mainly play Timberborn, another Connolly game. Go check it out, it's an amazing game. I'd really appreciate if you check out my videos, but if you don't check out the game, it's such a great game. So, eight on four. Oh, we need furniture. We need furniture. Uh, which one do we want? Why, what's the difference between a large table and a table? I'm guessing the size, right? But I don't think we need a large table. Oh. Maybe we do, because that, that's a bit small. That is very small. Okay, let's get that. Let's get them eating on a table. How do I rotate again? Here we go. And it automatically does the chairs for me. I do need more of them chairs, so I want to copy. And to do more, you hold shift and click, and you can do that. That'll give us four chairs. They can sit down, they can eat. That should help with their happiness. Now, it's nearly time for party. Any time for the little party we're going to have, which should be absolutely amazing. Weapon smithing is nearly done. We can start making some crossbows and that and getting people hunting. I do have a gun on her. So we could most probably hunt something. I don't know if I want to hunt these. Can I observe? I can. Is anyone your idol, your idol? Come on, let's do some stuff. Let's start observing. We need to survive this place. And in order to survive, we always need to be working. So we've got table and chairs now. Amazing. Um, do we need anything else from here? Nope. We don't need that yet. A chopping block. Dedicated space for splitting wood into sticks. That might be, um, that might be needed. Fruit bush discovered. So let's see. Now we can, that unlocks harvesting bush fruits. And we can plant bush fruits. Wine making. You know what? I think we just made the right choice. I think we just made the right choice there. Weaponsmithing researched. Let's uh so we can now craft weapons, I believe. There we go. We can craft spears, short bows, crossbows. So we need metal refinement for crossbows. We need to collect fabric. Ah, I remember collecting fabric. I remember that. And we've got spears here, which is scrap metal and wood. I don't really want to craft any spears just yet. What else do we need? Pickling. Ooh, that would be good. Chemical cloth synthesis. Mm, we don't need that yet. I think construction 
or tailoring table and then construction because we need to make clothes do we really need clothes look at this stuff you've got automated turrets i i tried this in the tutorial they are fun <laughs> there's a lot of uh there's a lot of systems to this game and this is in early access so there can mostly be much more later on okay you know what we're gonna do construction first because we do want to get out of this now let's look for some fabric now fabric is this bad boy right here we need someone to go and observe that and then we can start harvesting it i guess or cutting it whatever we need are they going oh they're going to get ready for partying soon now i didn't tell you to chop stuff right because i don't really need you to do that okay uh okay S limit reached in stock 25 sticks okay so you're trying to keep 25 sticks uh, you know what i can leave that is that their little party where's one There's, we're missing one person observing celebrating survival come on join the party why are you down here when you could be having fun i, I don't mind you chilling for a bit but we can speed up. They're not really doing anything exciting, are they? Really? This is nearly scavenged, which is great. Finally eaten on a table. Plus 20 on happiness. That's actually pretty good. Look, nearly max happiness. She's not, Nova's not too happy. Max happiness. And not too happy, but she decided to leave the party. You know what? That's her own fault. That is her own fault. So we're coming into day three, I guess, which is pretty good. We're surviving pretty well. I'm just scared because just like uh, RimWorld, you can get some random events. I feel like I'm going to get an animal attack soon, a little raid. Orange mushrooms. There's so much to do. Blade grass. Hey, oh, that might be good. That might be worth taking a look at. So once they wake up, I think they don't have many tasks. So we're going to do quite a bit of observing and see what we can get done. Okay, so they're now awake. We're going to, we've got this order thing here and we're going to use that to harvest a bunch of these plants here. So what we need to do, we need to click like this. And that will harvest. Actually, we can do more. And you can select over here what you want to harvest. We want to harvest the fruit bushes so we can get some food going. Because we only have, we have 51 cooked meals. I don't know how much they eat per day. I'm guessing it's one. But still, let's get that going. We also have our cooking station ready. So we've got chef recipes, tasty recipes, and quick recipes. I think we need to start sorting out priorities right so if we go into manage we can do schedule i believe it is no this is just when they sleep work and relax we actually want to get some relaxation in there so let's put one hour of relaxation we need to get them some activities to do so they don't get bored activities here we go and we don't want simple activities we want the complicated version so I want to make sure the person that is cooking is good at cooking, right? So who is my chef? Um, how do I see their stats again? So cooking. This person, Simon, is two. It's Emmeline that's the cook. So you got to be one on that. I want her to be cooking whenever she can. And then farming harvesting and cutting is done by someone with good farming right or is it planting there we go harvest and planting so emeline again oh she's gonna be put to work ain't she and what else is important research so simon needs to be the one researching because he has the highest intellect and i think for now, that's okay. 
I think we can leave as that. What's this? Cutting. So Nova has a good physical trait. Okay. But I want her mainly hunting. If I want something hunted, I want her to go and do it. And then these can heal as well. Okay. So what happens, it will go from left to right and it will see which one is at one, do that first. Then it'll go left to right again, see which is at two, then do that task, then left to right, three, four, five. And that's how it should do its order. I believe that's how it does its order. So everyone should be doing stuff. Yep, we've got a lot of observe observations going. We've got some harvesting going down here and we've got some scavenging. You're still scavenging. Okay, nearly done. Okay, so we have observed finally this creature. They're called the Glutch. Uh, the big bloated insect is slow and usually peaceful. Usually. <laughs> it should be always peaceful. Herbivore, which I named Glutch. I wish it was always, but it's going to be usually, I guess. While not particularly dangerous, it's, it secretes a corrosive substance which accumulates on its skin and is released as a toxic cloud when the creature shakes its body in fear. Engaging it from a safe distance seems the best option. Okay, so I don't know if we should hunt one right now because as you can see, I've got insufficient storage space. We need a lot more storage. Um, do I make another one of these? and get some more storage going. And I'm only going to put uh, construct yep, This is what I want. I only want to put berries in there or fruit. So everything else can go. If we do that, then we should have enough space for all these berries that we're picking because we've got a lot of berries. And then what can we do with these berries? So vegetable soup, if your cooking is at two, you don't fail at it, which is great. We've got two people idle, let's pause it. Um, vegetable ingredients, I don't really know, whoops. I don't really know what the ingredients are just yet by just looking at them. It looks like we've got this thing over here that can be used as an ingredient. We've got mushrooms and some other stuff. But what I wanna do, I wanna make stuff with berries. <laughs> And I don't know if we can use berries yet. What is the berries icon? Mm. Can I click this and see? Okay, so it looks like this, right? So I don't know if we can make anything with that. Oh, here we go. But we need to unlock that recipe. These are definitely gonna be uh, things that need to be unlocked. Nope, not in there. So maybe we can't use it at the moment. So maybe I'll harvest them for no reason. Maybe they can just eat them by themselves. In fact, we can check. So in, if we go on them, we can go to restrictions. Raw fruits, okay, so they can eat the raw fruits. Okay, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. What are we doing next? We're constructing, we're researching construction, which is great. This was done and now it's come back to zero. Okay, so do I get unlimited resources from that? That is interesting. That'd be nice if I do, I'm not gonna complain, you know? And I wanna cook some veggie soup, which is gonna take vegetables, 10 vegetables, output two vegetable soup, two happiness, amount for one meal. Yep, vegetarian, yes. Gain 100 experience. Okay, so we can actually harvest this I'm gonna need another storage thing, but we can harvest that right now. And we can make this veggie soup. So what we'll do, we'll do this times until 10, and we'll use the buttermelon. Sounds great to me. And there you go. We're making our first good sort of meals. Ain't that amazing? Now, now they should have a little bit better happiness. Look at all that happiness. I'm, I'm a pro. 
I'm a pro. There's a reason why I do this. <laughs> Man, I need to humble myself. I'm sure one day I'm going to die. Okay, look at these little things. Well, I wouldn't say little. Look how big their horns are. All right, let's observe some of that because we need to start getting some meat as well. I would like to get some meat going. We should have nearly observed this now. 66% done. Okay. Let's get some of that stuff done. Okay, so we have discovered the skin bark. That is such a creepy name. Skin bark. <laughs> so we can now harvest it. We can plant it. And we've got crafting of veggie leather on a workbench. So veggie leather is actually really needed. So we've got workbench here. Veggie leather. We need 10 skin bark and it outputs 10 veggie leather. So what we're going to do, we're going to harvest some of this stuff. It's raining at the moment, which is mostly not fun for my guys. Um, yep, yeah, there we go. No, I just want to harvest it. Is that what you're doing? Okay, cool. And we have just done construction. So let's start another research. Flamethrowers. Should we just go straight onto flamethrowers? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, wine making, musical instruments, tailoring. Let's get some tailoring. Long distance travel. Okay, I've not seen that before. Let's get some tailoring. And then, oh, we can queue as well. Let's get some electricity, pickling. You know what? Let's get some metal refinement. And then, actually, we still have one more place for winemaking. Okay, so let's take a look at construction. We've got buildings right here. Now, we can make rooms, scrap metal rooms. Hmm, I would like to make wood. Hay rooms, wood. No survivor has the required skill. Required skills, construction two. Hmm. So how do I, so you've got construction zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Everyone has zero construction. Okay, let's see how we can get this up. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. What have we discovered here? Okay, the Eurofin. The youths were large animals who lived on my planet before we humans caused the extinction. I hope that the gentle giants here will have a better fate, so I named them Eurofin. My hopes may be in vain because the herbivore animal is relatively easy to hunt down and butchering it will probably yield a lot of meat and skin essential for survival. Ugh. I'm sorry guys, at one point we're gonna have to butch you. Okay, so how do we get this up? So, the ability to construct and doing structures, affecting construction speed, likelihood of construction sites fall apart. Allow the construction of more advanced buildings. Okay, it doesn't tell me. <laughs> After all of that, it doesn't tell me. Mm. Maybe we just need to construct a lot of this stuff. Does it say here? doesn't well it might say actually here construction level one construction level zero okay so we're gonna have to use scrap metal now we've got so much raw food we've got a bit of scrap metal so you know what let's build our first little hut here it's gonna be a nice sleeping quarters um we're gonna have a door right here and then we're going to have, can we use a window, scrap metal window, like that for now. We might add more stuff. Let's let them get on with that. Insufficient materials. Oh, okay. Well, we can just, oh, <laughs> we can't even salvage that anymore. Maybe I shouldn't have built it so big. But we've got some stuff that we should be able to salvage over here, so that's fine. And we've got a salvage spot here. So we've built pretty much nothing of it. Is that getting up their construction? Who is doing it right now? Who are you? Vanessa. Okay, it is. Slowly but surely. All I need to them is to get to level two because I would like to make wood buildings, but we could make this for now, you know, and then we'll make a kitchen area and all that jazz, but they're going to need a lot more scrap metal. Okay. So while waiting for some scrap metal, we got 
and aggressive animals. Mm. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Oh, we found a weapon. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm fine with that. Who's got another combat? Two, three, and zero. So you're going to have that weapon, actually. A pulse rifle. So let's go and see these aggressive animals. It's the bugs over here. Okay, let's get... Um, have you got your weapon? Can you pick up? Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do... We're going to draft these two. I forgot how to... There we go. We're going to draft them. And then we are going to kill all these bad boys. Okay, that was pretty good. And we should get some insect meat from this. Oh, that was a good shot. Who is this? Oh. Okay, that's, that's Vanessa. Go on, you can do it. Lovely. I think there's five more animals left. Okay. We got this. We got this in the bag. She is bleeding though, which is not the best. I shouldn't have got her into me melee range because their shooting is off the charts. Look at these two. Easy. Easy. Okay. So let's pause that. Let's undraft them. Wait for treatment. What is your condition? Two. So they're bleeding two per hour. So if that goes down to zero, they're pretty much dead. Bitten of flesh. Oh, that doesn't sound nice. Okay, let's... You go wait for treatment. Um, I need to scavenge all of this. Someone needs to observe that. And we need to order... The, well, once they've observed it, hopefully we can actually harvest it properly. Now, who is going to treat you? Because that's very important right now. Where, where are you going? Bleeding, not life-threatening. No. I want you to stop what you're doing and wait for treatment. There we go. I actually think I stopped her from getting treatment. Right, once they go in there, I think someone should come over to treat her. Now, who would that be? Apparently, no one. Let's take a look at who is doing healing. So we should have Nova. That's the one, her, and Vanessa. Okay, yeah, so she's going to go over to healing Nova. Cool, there we go. And that means we should actually be fine. Okay, cool. So our first aggressive animal attack, and we survived, guys. We survived because we know what we're doing here, don't we? And I think this is a good place to end the episode. So I will be playing this next Friday. Hopefully we can get a bigger base going and we can do some more exploration. I might just click some resources off camera so that we don't have to wait around too much. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.